guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is carol chichita <laughs> in today's video i'll be doing a styling of this hair now you guys have seen this hair you've been asking for a styling video i had made a mental note to do a styling video but i'm kind of confused with how to call these styles they are like retro slash african goddess slash gracian goddess so it's like a mix a fusion of all those <laughs> so guys if you'd like to see my styling video slash tutorial then keep on watching <laughs> guys so the size of the nappy happy satin bonnet that i wore is the large now the large is a bit too tight i'm thinking i should have gotten a jumbo size but in my wildest dreams i never thought i would need to wear a jumbo size because i don't make hair so big until today so yeah <laughs> it has happened I have been maintaining this hair using cornrows and braids and this is one of the hairstyles I've been rocking. I received a PR package from Nuele Chronicles. You know the owner, she's called Michelle Anyango. She is a creator here on YouTube. So when you receive this bottle, here is how it comes in. It's in a box and inside it's in a plastic bag. The fine mist from this bottle is just amazing, amazing. I wanted my crochet hair to be lightly mist and not wet and this bottle did exactly that. This is important because I want to detangle and this step is really really important. I mainly finger detangled this hair, I never put a comb or a brush through it, I just took my time and finger detangled it. I can tell you this my fingers felt a little bit pain in the middle of i mean yeah towards the end of finger detangling because it's a lot it's a lot guys but if you keep your hair stretched you will have less tangles and less knots for this first look i separated the hair at the front from this middle to the front of the ear and then I proceeded to flat twist the hair down I fluffed out the flat twist just to make it a little bit plump and I did the same to the other side I connected the two flat twists at the back with a braid and then bobby pinned it down now this can be a cute simple look when you're going to work or when you're going to school but I'm going to take it a notch higher let's be a little bit extra <laughs> okay so I already flat twisted each side three twists on each side and we are going to proceed to tuck them in so what I do is crisscross the twists from one end to the other like crisscrossing one side cross over to the other side so from left to right right to left and I tuck them in the good thing about this hair it can tuck itself in you don't need a lot of bobby pins which is a plus I spruce up the look with some pair of earrings and this can be a look on its own guys it's a look it gives me some wedding vibes right <laughs> now what I wanted to tell you is that it's better to style this hair when your hair has grown it has aged a bit because you end up hiding the lines so well now taking it a notch higher with this African jewelry I don't wear it anymore but guys I found a job for it <laughs> now just hook the ends with a bobby pin and also the center and situate it on your hair now I had to play around with it before I found the right placement so I suggest you do that don't give up so easily like ah it's not working 
play around with it and you might find the right position like i did For the second look, I have already sectioned off the bangs and I'm doing the same to the sides just to have that half up, half down look. I missed it a little bit more and then proceed to detangling. Throughout this video, you'll see me detangle this hair over and over because I'm styling it. But if I had just one hairstyle, it wouldn't be this knotted or tangled. But since I'm manipulating it a lot, I need to detangle all the time throughout. Now grabbing this Haragami ponytail holder that I got from a friend. I have never used it, but you're putting it to the test today. So all I needed to do was to like unwrap it. <laughs> and curl it yes and then just wrap it around the hair and we are good to go i used it to make this very retro bangs and i really love it it held the hair and gave it like form and shape really well i bobby pinned the sides to secure the bangs and played around with it a little bit until it was at the position that i wanted popped on a pair of earrings and this is the final look I grabbed this pearl clips that I got from Dubois Road to spruce up the look and it just took it a notch notches higher <laughs> For this look, I wanted to secure this hair up in a bun and there was no way I was doing that without the help of bobby pins. So I used a pin on each end of this stocking head tie and wrapped it around this big mane. And it did help me secure the mane into place. And for the bun, I just gathered it up roughly and just pinned it away so that I can work on other areas and then I'll come back to it. Now you can see my hair popping, my lines are showing, my cornrows. So that is why I have this satin scarf. Now you can use Ankara, you can use any type of scarf you have or you want. But for me, just to keep it retro, I used this satin floral scarf. And for a satin scarf, I noticed that one knot is not enough. It will slip and slide. So we want to do a second knot to secure it in place. And I did exactly that. It did a good job in hiding my cornrows. And that's what you want. If you do a hairstyle with leave out, then this might be an optional step. Like it's not mandatory. Tie it into a cute bow. And this is how it looks. back to the bun i just took it out and spread it all around the circumference of the scarf and then i proceeded to like tucking it in when i'm going round in a circular motion yeah
it was such a beast to pin down this hair so i went back and forth doing tucking pinning tucking until i got like this final look For this look I maintained the high ponytail, divided the hair into two from the back and pinned down the ponytail at the center. I used the bobby pin to secure it into place. For the hair on the sides I decided to take small sections and knot them at the back of my hair, just laying on top of that ponytail and it ended up creating this nice unique pattern I did this about four times and tucked the ends of the knots so that end I just rolled it up and tucked it in and I did use a bobby pin guys I used bobby pins in this video it's just that some places the video got cut but use bobby pins Again, I found this chain and I thought it would go so well with this hair. As always, I put bobby pins towards the ends to help me secure it into place. And this is how it looks. It looks so good, I must admit. If you don't like this extra chain that is hanging, that is showing that you, it's a, a chain on your hair, you can just use a bobby pin to tuck it in and it will kind of hide that section where it looks like it's a chain. Completing this look with a pair of earrings as always and this is how it looks. I can see that my cornrows are showing from the sides but just assume that. Assume that you did a better job at hiding your cornrows than me or used a different braiding pattern and that cornrow would not show. And this is the final look guys. Now, if you don't like the retro bangs, then this is an option for you. You can do a side swoop and that's what I did here. After detangling, guys, you need to detangle every time. <laughs> it was a struggle, but everything for the video. So that side swoop, you just do the first one, secure with a bobby pin and then do the second one when you tuck it underneath the ponytail. And this is the final look. guys we've come to the end of the video which one was your favorite which one was like girl i have to recreate that <laughs> do let me know in the comment section down below all the details for the new Life chronicles um bottle i'll put it down below the link to the through the instagram and facebook page and guys guys <laughs> if you haven't hit the subscribe button do that hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i'm putting out this bomb content yes yes <laughs> okay guys we've come to the end i'll catch you on the next one Mwah. bye